Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. In this video tutorial we're going to be using AWS Transcribe to um, take the text out of a video that we've uploaded and then we're going to convert the JSON that's generated from AWS Transcribe into uh, SRT format and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to then uh, run an encoding process to embed that into our HLS manifest. Okay, so quite a lot going on there, but um, really cool functionality because what it means is when you have your outputted um, M3U8 file, it means that you have uh, your SRT files already embedded into it. So it means you don't use, need to use a third party plugin and it works across the board for Roku and um, Fire TV, etc any players that support it okay so what we've done first off um, we've got lots of video tutorials about setting up your IAM user access make sure you have transcribe access added to your IAM user that you've connected to S3 bubble so you can utilize that but we've got our file here so first things first we want to go in and we want to go AWS transcribe subtitles and captions okay so all we've simply done here is we've gone off and we've created a job that's running now in AWS transcribe okay so this is going to run and it's going to progress for a while and what it's doing now is it's analyzing the mov file um, to take out any audio and convert it to text so you can use this for anything it doesn't have to be for subtitles once you have this text it can be used for anything okay so I'm just going to pause it while this process completes okay great so as you can see our process has now been completed so what happens if we navigate back to the bucket that we run the transcribe process in so just come back to your bucket then you'll see that there, that what AWS transcribe does is it generates a JSON file first okay so we can quick preview the JSON file and I'm using a Chrome extension which is um, kind of making everything quite dark so you might not be able to see this but the main thing you want to concentrate on is here so this breaks down the text throughout the video okay and then what it will do is then go through each individual word it will tell you the time at which it was processed and the confidence that it has on that word okay so what you can do now is you could pretty much do anything with this but we're going to be using it for our video so what we need to do now is we need to convert this to an SRT file to a subtitle file so we've set all this up for you so you can simply just go in and we run through it and then what we could do now is if we take a quick preview at this file you can see we've nicely generated an SRT file for you okay with the correct format now one thing that we suggest is that you download this file and I'll show you why in a minute and then you can go through and just check all the text is correct throughout the file okay so that's that's an important thing just to make sure it's very accurate when you um, add it to your video okay so that's done now so once that's done let's go ahead and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna burn well we're gonna add the SRT file to our manifest okay all this might be seem a bit confusing um, but it will make sense as we go through it so let's go ahead and we're going to create a media convert encoding process okay and what we want to do here is we want to add captions okay so let's type in English because that's the caption we're going to be doing select English and then what we can do is we can search for our file Okay, and that brings up our SRT file. You can just paste the URL directly in here. That's all we're doing. So you could just paste the URL directly in here. And we're going to be using a HLS setup. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using to burn it into our manifest. We're going to um, output it to the same bucket. We're going to be using a CloudFront distribution and just a random ID for the folder. Okay, so we're going to leave all the other settings blank. We could use watermarks, we could add intros, outros, but we're just going to keep it all blank for now. Okay, and let's create that job. Okay, now let's go and take a look at the process. Also, I should note that you can add as many captions as you want in as many different languages as you want, okay? So what I'll do now is I'm gonna pause the video again and just wait for this process to complete. Okay, great, now, so as you can see, our video is now completed processing. Um, if we go ahead and view the player, then what we'll see is we'll have our player set up here, and if we click play, we can go to captions, select English, and then you can see the captions playing here okay so if you listen to the captions with the text you'll notice that they're um, they're very accurate but um, some bits are a little bit out so here uh, I think that's how and that's a little bit out so this is where you'd go in and you'd edit the SRT file before you upload it but one thing I wanted to note is that we are using um, a player here and it can be used without any plugin so we could simply take 
the URL directly from CloudFront and then we could paste it into Safari okay and what we're doing now is we're using the default Safari player okay so this will work on Roku um, and it just works across platform regardless of any third party plugins it just works if any player supports um, subtitle files okay burnt into the manifest so that's a really good way to add subtitles to your videos um, you can also add audio descriptions the same way and that's what we'll touch on in the next tutorial thanks